Welcome back to News Watch 10. I'm Jeremy David and we're talking sports. The Dalton Catamounts have had a great high school football season thus far. At 3-1 in region play, their only stumbling block has come from a very good Sequoia team. But that's not stopping them from keeping their state championship hopes alive. Jeremy Rao reports. Thanks, JR. Now moving on to the future of football Friday night. While Northwest and Southeast are preparing for big varsity games coming up this week, their freshman teams were hard at work against each other last night at Bruin Field. So impressive, even some of the volleyball players came out to watch. Although, Northwest didn't need that much cheering behind them because they got off to a pretty solid lead. So, uh, second quarter, Bruins met Allen, hits Wesley York in the end zone, 36-14 was a score then. And then the third quarter, Bruins getting defensive a bit. Jordan Woodard intercepts it and takes it across midfield for a first down and a whole lot more. And that would lead to this. Alex Hurd from 25 yards out runs it in to make it a 43-14 Bruins lead. Southeast, they would hit the end zone though later in the third quarter on this quarterback sneak up the middle to make it a 42-22 game. But it was just too much Northwest in this game. Justin Andrews from 15 yards out runs it into the end zone and that would put an end to a chilly night of football at Bruin Field. Northwest wins 48-28. to now moving on to the collegiate side of things, Saturday's 24-14 win over Vanderbilt moved the Bulldogs to a 6-1 record where they sit atop the SEC standings. But perhaps even more impressive than that is the improvement of the men up front protecting the line of scrimmage. Saturday's win against the Commodores did more for the Bulldogs than the standings would indicate. While the Georgia offense put up 24 points, it was the offensive line that perhaps showed the most signs of improvement as the O-line didn't surrender a single sack all game. They're all gaining confidence. And, they, and oh, it's attributed to Coach Searles and, and how hard these guys are working. But don't think the five men up front take full credit for their success. When you got a guy like Lushon back there, it's easy for uh, him to make plays, and that helps out a lot. So uh, especially with uh, uh, the line that we got, and uh, it just helps having a lot of playmakers like that. But perhaps what presents more of a shock is that not one member of the line is a junior or a senior. Although so far, they appear to be understanding the offense and each other more effectively. You can see them communi communicating on the field, you know, and open up really big holes for us, for, for us backs. And uh, I think Stafford had a lot of time back there today to throw the ball around. So they're, they're, keep on, they're keeping on working, so uh, it's good. Oh, they're young. We got a lot of freshmen. So they're getting better each day. Each day they're working their butt off at practice, getting better. You know, Some of them stay after, just work on their feet work. So it's getting, they're, getting real, they're getting better each day. Three freshmen plus two sophomores equals zero sacks on quarterback Matthew Stafford. And the young offensive line, which once seemed very inexperienced, now is making some giant steps forward. The line is playing good. They're playing good. But, but I don't think anybody's just satisfied that we're in this groove where um, we're just going to take the game over up front. We still ha we're still having our ups and downs a little bit. But the strides that they're making to get better are all something they're working on together. We got a group that we can uh, stick together with right now. We got five playing the same position and uh, hopefully we'll be able to get a little consistency and uh, just kind of gel and get better each week as we go on. Georgia travels to Baton Rouge this Saturday to take on the LSU Tigers at 3.30. And while Vanderbilt was difficult, you know, LSU, the defending national champions, of course, they beat, I don't remember who the team that they beat last year, but uh, <laughs> Ohio State. But anyway, <laughs> that, there should be a challenge that they have, so hopefully that'll be an exciting win if they can get that job done. Bulldog fans must be feeling pretty good after that win against Vanderbilt anyway. Es especially getting that win, you know, now that they're really back you know, in the swing of things. LSU it definitely probably comes at a good time, so if they can win that game, you know, things will look pretty good for the Bulldogs. By the way, I understand you caught a lot of flack after your comments about how you were becoming a Bulldog fan uh, from Ohio State. Right. Well, I, you know, I, I am a Buckeye. Let's make no mistake <laughs> about that. But I can be Buckeye slash Bulldog while I'm here in, in Georgia. Yeah. Right. Well, I don't know if it works that way for all Buckeye fans. I don't know if all Buckeye fans no. will agree with you. But anyway, switching now to weather. Cedric, what can we expect for the rest of the week? Well, it looks like we're going to be watching a big